Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to do a cool scientific investigation to see which things sink and which things float when we put them in water. So before we get started, let's see what materials we will need to do this investigation. The first thing you will need is a big tub or a bowl for the water. You will need some tongs. You will need a pitcher with water that we're going to pour into the big tub. A basket of various items that you think might sink and things that might float. So things like rocks, measuring cups, balls, a fork. I just found all sorts of things from around my house that we're going to see which things sink and which things float. A towel to dry the items off after we take them out of the water because once we take them out, they'll be wet. And then last but not least, I have two labels here, one that says sink and one that says float. So after we take the items out of the water and we find out which category it belongs to, we can, we can organize them here. First, using your practical life skills, we are going to pour the water into the tub. Depending on how big your bowl or tub is, you might have to go back and get a little bit more water, just like I did. So I think that should be enough. Let's test out some items and let's see if the water is deep enough. So I'm going to get my tongs. I'm going to choose one of the items from the basket. Let's start with the measuring cup and I'm going to place it in the water like this. Now let's see, it floats. It doesn't sink to the bottom. Now, this one is tricky because if water gets into the part, the little cup part, it will sink. But since right now there's only air in there, we're going to take it out. We're going to dry it off. And then this we will put under float. So let's try the next object. Let's try the little mandarin orange. Let's see. It sinks. It sinks to the bottom. Let's put it here under sink. Next, let's try this red ball. It floats. It floats on top of the water. So let's put it here under float. Next, let's try this fork. Now this fork is pretty heavy. It's made of metal. So that makes me think that it might sink, but let's check just for sure. Oh yeah, it sinks under the water. Let's put it here under sink. Okay, let's try this little clip. So let's see. Oh, it sinks. Sink. Okay, what about this rubber ducky. What do you think the rubber ducky will do? Do you think it will sink or do you think it will float? All right, have you made your guess? Now let's see if you're right. He floats. He doesn't stay upright, but look, he floats. So if you said that you think it will float, you were right. Let's dry it off. 
put it here under float. Okay, let's try this big rock. This big rock. Oh yes, it sinks. The rock sinks because it is very heavy. So let's put it here under sink. Okay, let's see. What about this little sponge? This little sponge is very light and fluffy. So let's see. Oh, look at that. It floats on top of the water. Super cool. Let's dry it off and put it here under float. All right, we have two more objects. So this is a screw. So you would use this to build something or to hang something on the wall. So let's see if this screw sinks or floats. Oh, it sinks. Even though it's small, it's made of metal. So that means it's probably heavier than the water. So it sinks to the bottom. Sink. All right, we have one more thing. We have this cork, this little cork. So let's see. It floats. The cork floats. So now we know these are the items that sink. The mandarin orange, the fork, the clip, the rock, and the screw. And the things that float are the measuring cup, this light ball that's filled with air, this rubber ducky that's also very light and filled with air, this sponge, which has lots of holes in it. Those, hole, those holes are called pores. And in those pores are air. So that makes the sponge very light. And the same thing with the cork. The cork is very light because there's little pores that let air go through. So that's why all of these things float because they're very light. They're lighter than the water, so they stay on top. These things are all heavier than the water. And because they're heavier than the water, that means they sink to the bottom. Okay, friends, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun exploring which things float and which things sink. So now what I want you to do is go look around your house and gather up some objects so you can try out this activity for yourself. All right, have fun. I'll see you next time. Bye.